at Star Wars. Call now. Tell them Yoda sent you. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today. For the special rock bottom introductory price. <laughs> Use it for what? Yipe! 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 Mangy flea pit and rat bat and mouse muncher. Where am I gonna put it? It's closed. How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right. Looks like someone's dentures were in here. Hey, I've got to put them somewhere. Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi yourself. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything. Horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic, I'm just a horse. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. Did I mention how great your teeth look? Thanks again. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? I gotta go. See you later. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. 
He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed. So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? No. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. Applied with medium, so thank you, no. This ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. Please go away. We artists are very sensitive to your kind of people. What kind of people? Big, dumb people. I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing, where you're from. Where exactly did you come from? The future. Kind of spooky sounding, ain't it? Ooh, the future. I'm from the future. Look out. Gosh, it would be so nice if you weren't here anymore. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. That's the left-handed one. Wow, doesn't even blink. Please do not perturb my model. Wow, doesn't even... Please do not... Wow. Please... Wow, doesn't even blink. Please do... These dudes might get mad. I wonder if there's anything to eat in it. I don't wanna. It must be Ned's. Or is it Jad's? I don't think I can do that. Please give me back my hammer. Please give me Please give me back my hammer. Please give me I'd rather not.
grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. Hey, what's that on the plans? It looks like a secret backwards message. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. I don't quite see how it can fly. I don't understand that technical stuff. Chateau de Chipo, 1775. Looks like he spent a lot of time in there. Nah, there's printer's ink on the sheets. Nah, there's printer's ink on the sheets. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? It should have a hologram on it somewhere. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Stars and stripes, dull, dull, dull. Hey, don't criticize unless you got a better idea. Gosh, I'd never want to mess with history. Gosh, I'd never want to mess with... Gosh, I'd never want to mess with history. Looks comfortable. I couldn't sleep in here with all the racket. Who asked you to? Nice day outside. Sorry, no time for small talk. The bed's in the way. The bed's in the way. My grandma had one like that. Back off or get stitched. Back off or get stitched. Back off or get stitched. The guys downstairs say they want a big family crest, and in the four corners they want a keg, some babes, a guitar, and some drumsticks. And underneath it all put, America rocks. Just put the plans on the table and I'll get to it. That'd make a killer t-shirt. I don't want it. You're also hard to please. I like these. Too late. You've already rejected those. I don't want them. I know that already. The late Max Addicts. His petard runneth over. A lamentable fate for such a patriotic dude. These would look better on velvet. I bet it calls the butler, just like on TV. Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. 
Excuse me, Mr. Washington. All done here. Bye now. I guess this is George Washington's bed. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. Hey, babe. Hey, lady. Yes, Mr. Washington? Don't you have any cleaning supplies? Like most maids, I keep them on my cart, in the hall. Do you know where I could find Red Edison? He's probably in the basement workshop again. He's always tankering with some invention instead of running the inn as he ought. I'll let you get back to your work. Yes, there's lots to be done. Fashion lie in a new, more convenient size. That's not what I'd call a lot of cleaning supplies. No way, I'd be busted for sure. It's closed. Just looks like a regular hammer to me, but then I'm no scientist. Say, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. He seems busy. Hey. What is it? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor, not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Then again, maybe not. Do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? <laughs> I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. He has the stupidest idea about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. 
It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. Must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. What are you inventing? It's a new size independent fastening mechanism based on circular geometry. What are you inventing? It's a new size. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. It looks more like a raincoat than a lab coat. Hey! Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Hey! Only em... Fathers are driving me nuts. Flag design changes every five minutes. Well, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm making them a flag, ready or not. Oh no! I've lost it! Oh, where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. Ned or Jad's head. These dudes might get mad. I don't wanna. Sorry. Too late. That's the left handed one. I can't crush two egos in one day. Wow. 
Wow, does it? Please do not. What if it had just put the plans on the tape? Better not, that might invalidate the patent. I'd rather not. I don't wanna. I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. Well, I gotta go. See you later. I don't wanna. The horse soaks his dentures and I don't think I want this. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. It's one of those pulley things. It's too complicated for me. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. Better not, that might invalidate the patent. I don't wanna. Sorry, I'm saving it. It's going to be a famous log. It looks like a martini shaker. Don't touch that, it's government property.
Stolen from the desk of George Washington. Hey, keep your hands off that. Hey, keep your hands off that. Hey, keep your hands off that. He looks oddly familiar. Excuse me. Yes? I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truth. I bet you lost it, but as you can, I only. Constitutional Convention invites your com amendment to the Constitution. Bitch it. I don't wanna. I can't open it. a mummy. That would not be... Besides, I might get caught. It's Ned or Jed's head. I don't wanna. I think not.
I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. It's pretty darn cold. It's pretty darn cold. No way, there's things in there that look like they've been there for years. Doesn't anyone ever clean this thing? Now there's a heavy sleeper. Ahem. Late night? I'm trying to save the world from a nasty tentacle. Nice room you've got here. It reminds me of the greeting card store I used to work at. I had an uncle who snored as loud as you do. The steelworks next door complained about the noise. Well, thanks. You've been really helpful. Up too late? Try a fickle finger's fate. Stick in a dime and you'll have a good time. I can't move him an inch. No way. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing, all in all a fine phone. I don't have time for idle chit chat now, I have work to do. Even 911 won't handle this kind of emergency. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's already open. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. Buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. I'd rather not.
It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <sighs> I can't even do this right. It doesn't seem to open. It doesn't seem to open. Not funny enough. Green! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? See you later. Yeah! Good luck! million dollars. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this one. Hundred Star Wars. Don't miss this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. 